Alright there procrastinauts, mine's Paboyan and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is a very special episode for a couple of reasons. One, I am recording this from my n new pad. I have finally moved into my student digs, I'm in my own place, I'm out and about, it's awesome. Uh, second reason this is a fucking first is because I'm actually playing this in HD for the first time, which ain't too bad. I bought myself a new monitor for my computer, a nice 32 incher and it is fat, 1080p all the way. This is the way this game is meant to be played. But enough about that, let's get into this. I know you guys have been waiting to see an episode of this, but I thank you for bearing with us. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the Ghostbusters, the FTL, and whatever else is coming out today on Friday, if this episode gets out when the internet gets sorted, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, I'm going to start with like a little bit of a special mission. Uh, I've been trying to come up with some ideas of things to do, so out of the two that I finally settled on, I've now combined them together to create one new mega, mega thing that's gone default. We'll ignore the flights that are currently in progress. They're just tests. Oh, oh. We need to start to load up. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Right, so let's go over to the VAB and check out my craft of choice. You know what? Ever since I got back from America, I've been wanting to do one of these. So, uh... Yes, I present to you the shuttle Amadeus Amadeus. Yes, and that's a fucking little thing, isn't it? Now, the idea behind this is because I'm going to be transporting up a probe into space. Now, this just isn't any probe. Um, this is the the prototype for a um, warp drive, which is going to be something interesting to show off. Uh, it's actually pretty cool, it's a little bit hard to get used to, but once you get a head around it that it doesn't create any speed, then it's quite easy to understand. you just got to be careful about how much fuel you bring with you and stuff. But yeah, there we go. Um, because I'm also a little bit different, I've also decided to use some different engines. Now, these aren't the engines that come with this shuttle mod, but they're actually pretty cool to say the least. These are the pitch vector engines from Tohu Torpedo. I'll put a link to these in the description so so you can do download them all. The uh, shuttle you might not get to work in the most up-to-date version. I had to do a lot of CFG work to get this into the game. I've also messed with it a little bit so these tanks are like physically bigger and the boosters aren't as big and so on and so forth. But yeah, let's go. Launch! Oh man. I'm dreading this a little bit because this means I'm going to try and go for a, a decent return on the shuttle and I cannot for the life of me get it anywhere close to KSC. Mm -hmm. Bear me one sec, just having a quick sip of my drink because I can. I've now got a big fat desk to play this on rather than just what I used to do and just play on my bed. I can actually now sit at a desk and have everything around me. Oh, it's awesome. I do need a second monitor set up though for... Uh, live streaming, but that's a different thing altogether. We won't worry about that. We're going to close the bay doors and I'm going to now, not to bear with us, I'm just got to check that these engines all shift. Yeah, we've got full control over those engines. Right, so about there we'll do. Uh, right, so on the count of five, we're going to get this thing on the go. Four, three, two, one, ignition. Bring us up to full power and release us. Okay, that's a bit too much tilt on that, so, but never mind, we're off and we're going. Commencing rolling operation. Got to get myself back on that mark. So that's a little bit of a problem with this. I've, uh, the launch is a little bit uneasy, to say the least. You should see what happens when the bloody separators come off. Uh, the separators, the bloody boosters. That's when shit gets hairy, man. But yeah, it seems like we're holding this quite nice. I need to pitch up just a little bit. Hold it there, if you can. I'm having to fight the uh, the gimbal of the engines because I'm not using the plug-in that normally comes with this mod. The engines don't do the uh, pitch vector automatically, and so I have to do it all myself. So this is going to go a little bit horribly wrong during the uh, the actual ascent. I may even end up flipping the entire shuttle, but it's nothing that can't be saved. And we're actually getting some height up here, and we're starting to pitch over a little bit, and that's not my doing so. But I am going to give it a helping hand to get us down. We are over 10,000 meters now. But you hold yourself there, uh, pitch those engines back a little bit to try and hold it. Oh, I'm struggling to keep hold of it now. Those boosters need to come off. Go. Boom. And... Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Like I said, it's nothing we can't fix. 
There we go. That seems nice enough. Like get those down a little bit. See if I can get some extra control on there. Whoop. I'm having the time of my life trying to sort this out. Right. Go back to normal. Thank God for those engines. That's all I can say. Right, how high are we? 30,000 meters. I've not been paying attention to this at all. As you can see, this thing is a little bit uh, iffy on the ascent. I mean, I, I'd, I wouldn't mind some engines that do this automatically, just so it doesn't do the whole flip thing, but it's nothing we can't sort out. I mean, it's just not really realistic, is it? All right, I'm going over 1,000 meters. You know what? Let's, let's pitch this down a little bit. See if we can keep it under control. I think we are doing quite nicely. If I can get it to stay there, what we like on launches and stuff. Right, 73,000 meters, so we are climbing quite nicely. I do need to get that prograde down a little bit. Uh, I also need to pitch the engines a little bit. Not too much though. Otherwise, we're going to have. Oh, oh, here we go, we're having problems already. Luckily though, we don't have to do much of this. Uh, we can we can ditch this tank and we can deal with the uh, the shuttle on its own. How are we doing now? Ninety thousand, right? Okay. Keep on going. Keep building that speed up ever so lightly. Uh, we are starting to drift a little bit. So what's that? One hundred and fourteen. Right, let's get some RCS to help us out here, because I have packed quite a bit, even though I don't really need it. All right. Okay. And right, I just need to hold there. I'm gonna thrust up. You're gonna help me out as much as you can, getting me apoapsis out and bringing that prograde down. Right, get this out so I can keep an eye on you. Let's take it up to about 150, and then we'll stop there and we'll burn out and do our circularization from there, I think. Alright, 150. Nice. So. First thing I want to do is I need to stop it from rocking, so uh that'll do. I'm gonna put the sass on. I'm going to uh kill the main engines. Get ready with the uh disconnect. Here we go. Boom. Alright, let's move back. I should have uh, rolled it in all fairness and got above it. Let's get some rotate on to help us out. Sweet, now we're right the right, right, right way up. Perfect. All we got to do now is just cruise along to the uh, apoapsis while this thing backs away nice and steadily. Bear with us one second. I really, really need to sneeze. Oh man, big one that was. Ugh. It's not exactly warm in here. Come on, heat in here. Oh, there we are. Ready? It's piping hot now. Oh, I should get warm up in here soon. Tell you what, eating in my new pad is awesome. It takes like five minutes to get the radiators on. Right, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, let's turn SAS off so we can pitch. Hold it there. RCS on. And we're going to thrust up and start building the cells out. As you can see, we do have a bit of an issue of the shuttle wanting to tilt, but that's nothing the RCS can't correct. Uh, not seeing much building going on here. Where's my uh, where's my litter? Where's my tank? Hmm, I honestly don't know. If I can get up to 70, or at least 100, then we'll retrap this a little bit, I think. I mean, it's up to 50 already. 70, 80, 90, 100, that'll do, and then we can just bring that down from there. Good times, how much fuel have we got? Uh, liquid fuel. Still a fair bit, that's okay. And then what I'll do from here is I think I'll release the uh, the probe here and then we'll do a couple of rotations until Kerbin is on the light side and I'll prepare to de uh, drop down. Uh, let's get round more into the sun, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Turn sass off. Flip it round. Nice. Right, okay. Opening bay doors. 
Uh, and now I've just got to hope that this doesn't connect with a, too much force. Decapole. Ooh, it's not so good. Alright. Come away from it. Nice! Well, there goes the hyperdrive probe anyway. First ever Kerbal hyperdrive unit. The test being performed today, so let's open this up. I'm just gonna turn the RCS off and get this into its own position. Now, if I'm truly honest, how long is this going to take up? Uh, warp drive charging, you say. So, active. Uh, Efficiency. So that should be charging, but I don't know how fast it charges. Um, the next thing I need to do is let's see if it, that is charging up. Uh, it's not. All right, let's go back to the Amadeus. Close her up, and then we'll warp a little bit, and then we'll come back to check it and see what happens. In all fairness, I reckon I'm going to land this thing, and then I'll do some quick checks just to see if. Uh, it is actually working as intended. Oh man, Kerbin's miles away. God damn it. So I've got to wait for it to come around the entire night time. Shit. Alright, we're back. I've done some speeding up just so Kerbin's on the light side. It was really not much. I switched to a craft that I already had on the ground, but unfortunately that craft was a, a super secret project I've got coming up. All dependent on the... Uh, the usefulness of this entire experiment I'm doing right now. As you can see, the probe's quite a distance away from us now. We've done a few rotates around the planet. I'd say it's time to get ourselves back around to Kerbin. Now, re entries and me are not too good. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit of a pain in the backside, pain in the arras. Um, I mean, I can get them down. It's not a problem. It's just I'm not too good targeting them. I mean, I've tried to before with uh, Juno landings and such. But uh, I seem to have more luck there than I do here, probably because of the thin atmosphere and I'm able to like shoot a little bit wider than what I normally would be able to. Alright, uh, let's get this down a bit, so... I need to come on this rather sharpish. Uh, let's keep burning. If anything, I need to burn long because of the time difference. Right, you keep going, you're down, uh slow it down a little bit. Go on, up you go. Uh, I don't know if in, uh, I really don't, right, let's see what happens if I get a bit closer, how much does it move? quite a bit and we're never going to make that all the way in so I think while I'm still up here I'm going to blitz a bit more thrust and see if I can build it out a little bit. Yeah, I'm never any good at this part. God damn it. Uh, get in. <sighs> right. See, obviously I've got to adjust for the planet moving as well but I've also got to adjust for the amount of slowdown I'm going to suffer. Uh, in all fairness this should be fucking bang on the marker to tell you the truth. Right, let's get down to re-entry angle. Hold it there. Nice. Now I'm hoping we should be on the ball for this. Speed things up a little bit, see if we can get ourselves there a bit faster. And um, how much fuel is this thing carrying? Not a lot. So I'm hoping that I am coming close to the what's it called? Because I am. I'm not going to be able to fly the thing uh, there if I don't get close to it. Here we go. I think we're coming down a little bit too low in all fairness. Where's the, where's the coast? I need to get over those mountains. Right, okay. S stop your ass. Speed up your ass. Use all the fuel. Uh, I don't know what kind of good that's done me, but there's the mountains over there. Shit! Nah, I've not shot this long enough. God damn it, man. Why am I so shit at this? As long as I don't fly into the mountains and I'll fly it to the other side, it's not like it's far for the Kerbals to come get picked up. It's not like I'm landing it all the way on another co continent or something. Ooh. You keep yourself all nice and level. I'll do the best you can do anyway.
Ooh, speed it up. Let's see if we can pitch up a little bit. Ooh, speed it up with the power of eight there. Uh, RCS, I may as well get some of this used. Not really using it, am I? Whoop. Oh, man. Well, come on. Fall as best as you can. Get some of this used. It's not going quick enough, is it? So, uh, let's pitch. Go, go, go! If I want to pick up speed, I'll just dive down a little bit more. The thing should be able to pitch up of its own free will. Whoop. Oh, that's me. Oh, gosh, shit. What am I doing here? That's me turning the sass off. God damn it. Right, okay. Go. You're fine. You can do this. Okay, now we're getting lower. Let's slow this down a little bit. We still not done on all the mod propellant. Jesus Christ, we have loads. We have far too much. I think I might have to go CFG edit that down a little bit just to save on a bit of weight. Okay, let's go. Gear down. Uh, it's looking pretty rough here. Gear down. Gear down. How not to pilot the shuttle by your friend Plaborian. Ugh, it's a rough one. Go on, man. You can do this. It's not meant to be a flyer, it's just a glider. Right, oh, you're coming in low. Nice, go a bit faster. Try not to go landing on a hill. Alright. Excellent, this is going down nice and steadily. Boom, boom, right, let's slam the brakes on a little bit. Nice! Kill the RCS. Excellent, our Kerbals made it home alive. Who would have thunk it, eh? I know I fucking certainly wouldn't have done it. Um, they're not going to make it alive if they don't slam the brakes on. Sweet. Alright, so we made it home with the shuttle, ladies and gentlemen. I think what we'll do is I'm going to take a little break, go check on my washing, and I'll come back and we'll get the hyperdrive probe on the go, and we'll send it out to the moon or something, see if we can. Alright, and guys, well, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you all in a bit. Peace out.